Yesterday was Sunday. Obviously, today is Monday. Monday is a day when people kickstart work, but for me, it's a day to rest because I'm usually very, very busy during the weekend. In just a day, like there's been so many changes in the country. This decree was circulating, caused some financial changes in the country, and this had to do with increment in prices. Like we are not already suffering enough. Like there's serious inflation now in the country. Messi back there, pay me no heat. Not had lights for a day now, and something that has been happening regularly is there's been plenty power outage. It's giving NEPA vibes and I, I'm not appreciating it at all. In all of this, eh, it is a bad time to be broke. It's just a time for you to open your mind, look for the next thing to do so that you can afford things that are in the market. You know, I'm, I'm always just hearing about inflation, inflation, and I've never really taken time to study what inflation is. I just know that, okay, inflation is when there's rise in prices. So I took out time to study about inflation. That was yesterday. Not because I wanted to do a video, just because I wanted to understand what was really really happening in my country and in countries all around the same thing happening in nigeria i don't know about other countries oh i was in ghana yes it was the same thing when i went to ghana the prices had gone up and all of that i got to discover that one of the things that causes inflation is that the central bank gets to put in plenty plenty money into the economy that's the point like there were several reasons as to why a country could be experiencing inflation but the thing that struck me is this point i sat for a while like when i was reading the book i sat for a while i was like eh lots of money in the country and then where is where is the money this is one of the reasons why i am crying because i have to do my do i call it monthly shopping it usually carries me for more than a month i have not shopped for my house since i came i'm going to the market now let's see how much i can spend i have a list i don't know the things that I have experience i can increase in price so i just have my money i'm going with my shopping bag i'll just go around and see what i can get when i come back i'm going to show you what i bought yep that's basically it let's go Quantity of water leave goes for area for one thousand. I don't know. Just normal. Okay. There's something I said in one of my introduction videos and basically it was that this year I no agree for like a daxical attitude, you know. I always say that I am super super lazy when it comes to accessorizing and just slapping makeup on my face before coming on camera but I promised that this year I was going to put an effort into how I looked and uh, yes I've been doing that so for a while now I've been into head wraps and these lovely earrings little sister sells them like they're so so cute so I made an effort to look cute for you all and that's on period this is like a haul like a very dry haul the last time I sat in front of the camera I said I was going to the market to buy some stuff the I went to the market I came back I didn't buy like everything I wanted to buy because in Yaoundé there's been like 
power issue there's power outage every now and then which is super crazy like i don't even understand so when i went to the market i didn't get like greens usually when i go to the market i'll buy green I'll buy fruit in my fridge since i i really don't like going out but this time around i didn't get those things i just got like basic basic thing if you don't know my name is victorine i'm a content creator i'm based in yaoundé i am single i am not in my 20s i don't have children i stay alone so this shopping is for a single cameroonian girl it's shopping for one <laughs> the first thing i got which is my absolute favorite thing after concha of course is gary if you check my traveling out of Bamenda video, you'd notice that my mom and dad packed food for me when I was coming to Yaoundé. So I have like lentils, I have tubers, I have pork. Um, what else do I have? So all of those things, when I came, I diced them. I put them in the refrigerator so that whenever I just need them, so that the tubers don't get bad, you know. So whenever I need them, I just go to the freezer, I get them, and I cook, okay? So I didn't buy lots of things because the beans, the yam, the plantain, all of that, I, they're covered plus the meat, okay? So I bought gari because I did not buy gari in Bamenda, and we did not fry gari in my house. So this is... The gari that I bought, this is going to take me, apart from the fact that I really, really drink gari, apart from the fact that I really drink gari, like this is a savior, it's an absolute savior. This gari is 5 liters and it costed me 2,500 francs. I remember there was a time where we used to buy 5 cups of gari for 100 francs, now like you don't even see it anywhere. The next thing I got was 5 liters of vegetable oil is also going to take me for a long time like basically since i stay alone and i travel like all the time i don't cook i'm not well uh, i be not cooking i be not cooking because it's not something that i like to do so this is going to take me for a long time so my shopping finished the next thing i bought was rice right here i think i already cooked this like twice so this is just what is left i went to the market usually i would buy the re parfumé because i love fried rice re parfumé that normally sells for a thousand francs when i went to buy it it was now one thousand five hundred i was just like hey, no give me uncle ben six and cinq ans. That is uh, 650 per kilo. Tu vois, non? Donc, j'ai acheté le, le riz en Coben à 650. J'ai acheté, c'était 4 kilos. C'était 4 kilos. J'ai déjà préparé plus de, plus de 2 kilos. Yes, I've already cooked like 2 kilos. The next thing I bought was cube. I really don't like buying this because, uh, let me see. Usually when I buy, maybe it's because I keep it in my house for long, but it starts getting soft. And I, I don't like when it starts getting soft like that. It's really annoying. The next thing I got was spices. Like they're in this. So this is rondelle. Rondelle is um, country onions. I am no longer buying like the, the balls, the seeds. I have them grounded and I just buy the powder like this because when I come here, I, I don't get power. I have it in white pepper, I have it in ginger, and I'll get some more. Hey, that spice is strong. I have more like turmeric, ginger, my mom made. Yes, I have it, I have it in like bottles, but I just got like extra ginger because I want to use this one to drink. That's the first part of my shopping, the food, which like I said, is not really much. That's also because granite, beans, red oil, plantain, yam, cassava, all of that. I packed from the village before I came to Yaoundé. So the next part of my shopping was like, oh, salt. I like laundry, yeah, laundry, skincare. First thing I got is this La Croix, L'eau du Javel. This is going to be in my bathroom. Got a, a pack of, of this. Again, I be not doing laundry. I be not. This also is going to take me like a while. Okay, that's the next thing that I got. Those are not expensive. See, this part of the shopping, like detergents and beddings and all of that, is a traumatizing part for me. Because some of these things are supposed to be expensive, especially when it comes to like lotion, when it comes to lotion, perfumes and all of that. One amazing thing that happened to me this season before I came to Yaoundé is that my elder sister sent some things from the abroad. I was just like, 
with this thing not even just worry myself to buy like further lotion for myself my skin is not sensitive i just need a moisturizer and i am good to go so i'm not one of those people that if you use this kind of moisturizer it's going to disturb you if you use this is going to worry you no i don't have that kind of issue this is the lotion that i am using it's basically just a moisturizer this natural vitamin e palmas cocoa butter body butter right here so when my other sister sent this she saved my life because i would have gone and bought some lotion that would have chopped all my money this is one of the bedding gels she sent and that just saves my life but i still went ahead and bought my favorite um i still went ahead and i bought my favorite bathing soap which is the dove in cucumba i love this soap and i usually use this with the deodorant like it just leaves you oh, with this refreshing 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 scent i'm looking for the right word fragrance aroma no aroma is for food it just leaves you fresh like that i love it i did not get the deodorant because why has the money increased like that? It used to be like two, 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 nine, but now it's like four thousand. How much? I did not buy it. Hey, baby, baby. So what I've been using is this old spice spice, and it's just among the things that my elder sister sent. Like, can you just see how she saved my life? Cause my head was about balance, eh? Before I can go and buy the Dove deodorant, like, are, are they crazy? Like, are they crazy? Yeah. So the next thing I got is this. What's it called? Oro. 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 When I came to my house. I discovered that I had flatmates that don't pay rent, but they are a complete nuisance. Cockroaches. Like I hate. I hate pets. I hate pests. I hate rodents. Ooh, I don't even want to talk about it. Okay, so I got this also for mosquitoes. Even though I I totally sleep under a mosquito net, but I just got this. Like when I want to get fragrance, I want to get fragrance coming out from my body, not from the room. I like my room to to not have any fragrance. Like don't smell of anything. Don't have any smell. Even um, come on, Jisa. Home like home deodorant. That's the wrong word like home perfumes there's something they call them air fresheners yes air freshener i don't like to breathe air that is not like if the air is not focused and straight i don't want to catch it around my nostrils you know yeah <laughs> okay wow that is quite a short haul is that all of it yes i think that is all of it if you're based in cameroon let's talk how are you doing with the rise in the prices how are you coping how are you dealing with this financial rise in cost but not in income like where is the money guys be kind enough so that i can have some money subscribe to my channel like this video watch my ads that's how i get paid okay I appreciate all of you and i will see you all in my next video Bye bye